everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Child's Quest for Zelda Classic Part 4. Today we're going to pick up a very important item, and then we're going to head straight to level 6. And we might even get level 7 done too. Because 6 is kind of short. Alright, let's murder all the Octorockies. I want to go back to where those rock arrows were, because one of them hides this very special item. Oh boy. I didn't want to enter the maze path. Let me exit. Whoa. Nearly got hit by the Lynels. Yeah, we're gonna go around the maze path screen. Yeah, then we go north. Ooh! There's a lone green bush. Something's screaming at me to burn it. What's inside? Need some money? Yes, please. Already, 88 rupees. Uh, let's see, the, the rock arrow screen to the right here, that's not it. We gotta go to the one that's north of here. Waste all the red lionels and clear a path through them. Unless you enjoy sucking on sword beams. Yeah, I just want to get rid of all the lionels. Alright, now what you gotta do here is get your whistle out. Because there will be a super secret staircase lurking somewhere here. Yay! And? Yes! The magic sword! I want it! Alrighty, now that we have that, we can go straight to level 6. Let me see if I can whistle to somewhere closer. Save some walking time. Level 2. How close is it to level 6? Eh, not, not too far away. This should work. I like humming the midi tune. Okay, nothing down there. Yeah, we have to go through the base path. Down. Down. Then we go right. And then finally down again. It pays to remember. Alright, now we're going to enter the graveyard region. Yeah, skip all these tube stones. If it's not a pizza, I don't want it. <laughs> Move it, Guinea. Now we got a bunch of blue Octa Rockies. Yeah, hopefully I get a bomb upgrade soon, because the last few dungeons are going to have a lot of wall bombing. Oh, damn you. Alrighty, now we're going to go back up here. And here is level 6. Level 6. Onward we go. First room, Paul's voice. Light up this room. And then start arrowing the bunnies. Boom! And die. Alright, we're gonna keep those bombs there, push this block. That's how you unlock that shutter. Alright, now we're gonna murder the virus in one hit. Thank you, Magic Sword. And now we grab the map here. And we get our bomb out, because we have to bomb the southern wall. There's something beyond it. We have the Dongos! Greet them with your bomb burrito. Turn around, come on. Boom! Smoked. And we get a key. You need this, so don't miss it. Up we go. Alright, got mummy men in here. Yeah, I give those are gonna fall pretty quickly to the magic sword. Love the raw power of this blade. I gotta bomb the wall here now. I wasn't kidding when I said we had to do a lot of wall bombing. And that's gonna continue being a trend in levels 7, 8, and 9 coming up later, too. Alright, Compass. Gonna bomb the wall here now. Now we go up. Nope, I don't have the book yet. 
Um, let's see. Stun this. Stun the fire. Key. Yes, I want the key. Uh, we gotta go around to get it, though. So it looks like we gotta bomb the right wall in the next room up here. Leave your life for money, another toll room, and we have enough to pay it. Now we bomb this wall. Grab our key. And I'm glad the fire stayed dead that time. This off-camera they came back. It's because I went through the dungeon with my white sword. So they ended up splitting. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but... I have to kill in all the keys, push this block, and now we go right. Now we're kind of locked in here, but... We can actually bomb down. Whee! Nice little way back. And dodge the blue bubbles, they really can't do much to us anyway. Light up this room, we got Vyres and Pole's voice to take out. Yeah, level 6 with no whiz robes. Kind of funny. Well, it isn't called Child's Quest for nothing. Alright, so what's up here? Gorillas and Gibdos. Got the blue and red Gorillas mixed with the Gibdos. Yeah, Magic Sword just chewed right through all them. More money. So, what's over here? Ah, uh, whiz robes. The regular variety, though. Yay, stopwatch, kill them all. And I think we could bomb a wall here, too. Don't think there's anything relevant in this room, though. Just wanted to come in here first, waste the like likes and give those. Looks like I hear Gleok. Yeah, that... That river of blood arrow points through a walkthrough wall. And we don't really want to go back that way. Whoopsie, and I pushed the block the wrong direction. I meant to push it up. Oh crap, I got locked out. I gotta go around again. Arg. A minor inconvenience, but one I can deal with. Now where is the candle? Now let's push it the right way, please. Alright, and here we're gonna pick up... There's our magic book. Now our wand can shoot fire. Alright, now we can make a beeline for the end of this dungeon. Man, too many bubbles in that room, dude. Rocks fans spamming those bubbles. Right through this locked door, and now we got... Fires, blue bubbles, and red bubbles. And Magic Sword tore them all up pretty quick. Now we go up. So we got fires, red keys, and red dark nuts. Hmm. Very unique combination. Again, one that we can handle, no sweat. Now we push this... Oh, I thought it was that block. Maybe it's this one. Or this one. Maybe this one? How about that one? It was one of these damn blocks. Now, keys killing time. Oh, we got blue dark nuts now. Only four. We got plenty of room to maneuver against these guys. Two magic sword hits are gonna own them. Alright, now we have to come in here. Seek the Island of Trees. That's the hint to find level 7. Yay, now we got the key to get to the boss room. So yeah, this level 6 wasn't too bad. Kind of on the easy side. And the boss is... No, it's not a Gliok, it's a Blue Goma. So you got the Goma sound and a Manandala sound going on in this room. Very strange. But yay, we killed Goma. Heart Container. Six piece of Triforce. Yeah, this joke of a level 6 is done. Hell, you can get through here with the White Sword without too much trouble. Alright, Blue Lionel, die. 
Alright, well, we got plenty of time left over in this vid, so we're gonna try to get level 7 done as well. So let's get our whistle out. I don't know what facing down is gonna do for us, but we'll find out. Alright, back to level 1. Fine by me. Okay, actually, we'll take this shortcut. Yeah, it looks like the remaining two heart containers we're gonna be finding in 7 and 8, which is nice, so we got all the ones in the overworld found. Oh boy. Yeah, I think he needed to put in an extra tree there because you could end up walking off and get stuck in a bush on this screen. That could be a major eek factor. Ah, uh, let me see. Where the hell is level 7 again? Oh yeah, right there. That one ref doc I didn't check out yet. See you later, fairy. And off the green dock we go. Yep, level 7 gonna be on this little dinky island with the five bushes. Alright, blue candle, burn the middle bush, and enter level 7. Which is likely gonna take up the rest of this video, so yeah. Gonna be taking my time going through this dungeon. So yeah, we start with Stuffos 2. Again, nothing too threatening. Magic, magic sword, magic shield, blue ring, yeah. It's gonna be a cinch. Boy, I'm making back a lot of money, too. Uh, nope, no key. Oh, guess we're going back here, then. Alright, I got Gibdos and Bubbles. Stun you. Alright, stairwell. Yeah, we're getting through Child's, Child's Quest pretty quickly. first session, I was able to knock out, like, five levels. This is only my second session, and I'm at level seven. Okay, I think we're gonna go down first. Yeah, I think we're gonna get the dungeon item in this room. First, we gotta smoke the Gibdos, Dark Nuts, and the Bull's Voice. Go away. Whoop. Yeah, watch out for the corner traps. Now we gotta push the left block and staircase in the bottom here. Go the trap out. There we go. And the item of the dungeon, red candle. Just like the first quest of Zelda. Yeah, we're gonna need the red candle to enter level 8. Which we'll probably do in the next part. Alright, now we're gonna go explore the two other directions. Let's check out the right path. Burn your way to go above where you started. AKA the hint to level 8. So, what is up here? Need more bombs? Sweetenly! Yay! Only 55 rubies, too. Not bad. Alright, let's take the stairwell back. So, we got a bomb upgrade in the red candle. I'd say it was worth it. Oh, and a key, too, which you need to progress. That's a whole lot of goodies for that one passage. And now let's descend deeper into level 7. And through this locked door. Now use the wand magic to light up the room. Alright, more bombs. I'm actually going to save them. Oh. Damn blue bubble. There we go. Alright, this is a very unorthodox mix of enemies. Like likes blue gorillas and gibdos. Yeah, magic sword's gonna tear through this whole parade. And we got a compass. Alright, if I recall, I think we got a bomb on the left wall. Yuppers. And we got four red dark nuts in here. Should be a cinch. Stopwatch makes it even more of a joke. And more bomb spam. Really not necessary. All right, let's uh, let's check out the left path first. All right, so we got keys and souls, and we got a key against the wall here. Let's go grab it. Got to kill all the enemies so we can move this block and get to the key. All right, now we'll go through the southern bombable wall here. Yep, 
Yeesh. You gotta watch out for the magic wand blast. Sometimes it'll, it'll shoot enemies toward you, which is weird. Yeah, give those are still big bomb droppers. I don't think no, nothing down there. Okay, I guess we're going left. Now we lit up a case with the wand wall. We got well done, bat wings. Charred them up. Let's go down. Alright, this room's got a few secrets. First, let's kill the Pulse Voice and the Stealthos, too. And we get a key. And not only that, we can bomb both walls. The south and the left. I don't know if we can bomb the right, also. Let me try. No, okay, so let's check out the left first. Alright, give those. Let's kill them. Love the magic wand, and the bombs, and the magic sword. I love all of my equipment. Okay, we got more bunnies. Have the bow and arrows, you will kill them instantly. And made back most of our lost cash, and we get the map. So we got a giant letter C dungeon. So that's all we wanted to go left for. Yeah, you can't push the block in here. That's like a red herring. Alright, in here I got the wall masters. Hopefully the bubbles stay away from me. Yeah, anything you do, do not go left. It'll take you backwards. Instead, go through this locked door. This is the proper way to go. You'll save yourself a few minutes. <laughs> Alright, red candle, roast these keys. And we continue south. Alright, this room you're gonna be bombing a lot of walls, but first let's wreck all the ropes and lugarias. Alright, give me my fairy. Yay, more money, so now we're gonna start bombing like crazy. We bomb there. Bomb there! Bomb there! <laughs> I told you a whole lot of wall bombing gonna be done. Yeah, keys and gels. Pretty easy room here. And we get a key for our reward. Alright, let's check out the bottom passage. Okay, we got a couple like likes, a couple gorillas, and a moldorm. And if you're low on bombs, you'll want to make it a priority to come in here. Because you kill all the enemies, yay, bomb drop. But honestly, with the way the Gibdos are dropping them, you really shouldn't need it. Alright, now we're going to come in here and fight some more bunnies. More bunny blitzkrieg action. Getting a lot of five drops. I do appreciate that. Now we'll go through this locked door. And this will take us towards the boss. Yeah, Stalfo's two blue gorillas in case. Yeah, this room ain't much of a problem either. Now we push one of these blocks. Yeah, just a few more rooms to go now. Alright, we got a red and blue Lamola in here. If you lose your sword beam, you can just spam the wand. That'll work just as good. Come on, you, get down here. Boy, that Lamola eye is driving me nuts. Alright, let's see what's down here. Yeah, I get to bomb another wall. Fun. So, ropes and stealthos, too. I think that's actually a rope, too, but the magic sword kills him in one hit, so yeah. More bombs! Okay, the next room we have... It's dark, and we have regular whiz ropes. Ouch, and I got stuck in a bad spot, but it's okay. Hmm. Okay, not okay, Viz. I have to kill the whiz ropes. And they're kind of stuck over the river. All 
Alright, one more wizard robe to kill. Done. Get our money. And now get your whistle out, folks, because we have a twin dick dogger boss. Yeah, the Gleok boss sound threw us off again. Eh, I don't care. I'm gonna tank the damage. And I got a fairy. That worked out. Parkitator, woot! And that will do it for level 7, folks. Two Triforce pieces picked up. Alright. Yeah, I still got a little bit of time, so... We'll see what else I can get done. Maybe I'll go buy a potion. I don't think I got one yet, did I? No. And I don't think I'm gonna need bait for the rest of the game, too. So I'll have to buy that again, thank god. Oh crap, I'm in Oh, okay, I got out of there. Phew. I forgot, what's here? Oh, must have been a money secret or a heart container there. That I've already picked up. I like mocking the midi tempo. Ah, uh, here's the red bushes we can burn with our red candle. So let's get on that, shall we? Think you gotta burn the middle bush. And you'll get rid of the whole row of trees. And that's your way into level 8, which we'll save for the next part. So I think 8's gonna need its own video, and of course 9's gonna need its own video. So two more parts we should be done. And I'm gonna go buy some medicine. And that's all I really should need at this by this point. I have everything else. Alright, medicine shop we're closing in on. And there it is. Cross the river. Yep, we're gonna buy the pink. Okay, let's go back to let's go to the level eight screen and then we'll cut it off there. And then next part we'll hopefully knock out another dungeon. Yeah, you ain't gonna get me, Armos. Okay, lever screen, good place to rack up some money if you're low on it. Normally the levers drop a lot of fives, but on that exchange they didn't. Alright, can I open up the other side? Yes I can! Alright, here we are. This is the level 8 screen. And what bush will I have to burn? Find out when I do the next part. So, stay tuned for Let's Play Legend of Zelda Child's Quest for Zelda Classic Part 5 when we will enter level 8, complete another dungeon, and work our way towards level 9. Anyway, see you then, peoples!